Hi, I'm the Artie Dance from Asian Film Fans and welcome to this video. One of the things I love to do when I go back to China and Hong Kong is to go to the cinema and watch a movie. Not only are the prices cheaper, but also the selection of movies is far more varied. Here's a list comparing movie prices from my home city of Melbourne in Australia to what I paid for a ticket to watch Ip Man 4 in the cinema I'm taking you on a tour of in this video. Before we take the tour, I just want to give you a brief rundown on Asian film fans. Our website is set to launch in mid-2020, but you can go there now and check out what's to come. It's an Asian film database site that allows you to find all the information about your favourite Asian movies, create a movie diary and wish lists, watch our translated trailers and more. More features will be added to the site as it matures, but check it out today, sign up and join our community on Reddit as well. The cinema we're taking a tour of in this video is the independent Yes Cinema, situated in the dynamic Tiguan Entertainment District of Liwan, Guangzhou, China. The site of Liwan was chosen as it was the heart of an old district in Guangzhou that didn't currently have a cinema. All that changed with the construction of the entertainment district where, alongside the cinema, there were also other choices such as bars, clubs and a selection of restaurants. This is Mr. Ran, the day manager for Yes, I sat down for a chat with him and asked a few questions. First up, when did the cinema open? Uh, and what was the first movie ever shown? Uh, Operation Red Sea is a 2018 action thriller about a hostage rescue mission conducted by the People's Liberation Army's Navy Division and how they encounter resistance from rebels and terrorists. This movie was the highest grossing film in China in 2018, and it's not hard to see why. However, I also wanted to know one more thing. What is the most popular movie that you've ever shown here, and why? Uh, For those who don't know, Wolf Warrior 2, starring Wu Jing, is another very popular action blockbuster series. Part 2 sees our hero Feng taking on a gang of sadistic mercenaries that are hunting for a doctor who's come up with a cure for a disease ravaging the villages of Africa, where Feng has settled down. Wolf Warrior 2 is an exciting, if over-the-top, action movie, very reminiscent of the Rambo series. Check out a review I've previously done on Wolf Warrior 2 by clicking on the card above. Regarding audience taste, well, that's easy the audience definitely prefers the local Chinese movies over the international releases. And why not? When you consider some of the Chinese movies released during 2018-19, including not only the action blockbusters Operation Red Sea and The Wandering Earth, but also China's highest grossing film of 2019, Ne Jia. What makes Yes Cinema unique compared to its competition is the CGS Hall, the China giant screen a massive 30-metre, 380-seat hall that's used for the latest blockbuster movies. This one also has a special seating arrangement. And if we go down and have a look, you'll see that these red seats spell out the letter S. The CGS technology is a direct competitor of the Canadian IMAX tech and is slowly increasing its presence in cinemas worldwide. At the time of my visit, it was showing Ip Man 4, the finale, with 380 seats here, where should I sit? Maybe right at the front. There are nine other halls for a total of 10, ranging in size, but each have a slightly unique layout with the seating colours. So let's take a look around Yes Cinema. When walking into the foyer, you are greeted with a large open gathering space. To the left are a few places to eat and some movie advertising. To the right of the entrance are a massive bank of capsule machines where you can win a random selection of figures from different toy series. As it was Christmas during our visit, there were also a few decorated Christmas trees on display. 
Note the lack of theft or damage. In the middle are these karaoke machines, which are very popular in China right now. Claw prize winning machines with a great selection of soft toys and the popular massage chairs, modeled here by our camera woman. Here's where you can charge your mobile phone. And behind it is the touchscreen ticket purchase and collection machines. We bought our tickets using WeChat Pay and used a simple QR code to pick them up. Here is our camera woman modeling our tickets to Ip Man 4. To the right of the foyer, there is another hidden restaurant, a few Pandora Box arcade machines with a massive selection of emulated Neo Geo, Capcom and other arcade games, and more movie advertising. In front of the candy bar ticket box is the centerpiece, the large YES characters that double up as resting seats for people waiting for this session to start. The candy bar sells the usual variety of snacks you would expect in the cinema. That looks like popcorn to me. This big selection of ice cream and soft drinks, as well as a few uniquely Chinese things. In this case, the soy snacks and a few Chinese only chip flavors like cucumber. But that's not the strangest. Not only is there seaweed, but there's also chicken muscle on flavored snacks. But are Dan's, you ask? What about the candy bar prices? Well, check this panning shot of the price board and our approximate currency conversion of the prices. If you're watching this from Australia, you'll definitely notice the prices are a heck of a lot cheaper. Before passing through the Usher, there is a large screen on the right that cycles through the latest trailers. Apparently they use this screen also for marriage proposals. So. Inside the ticketed area are the movie halls. Downstairs there are three, including the CGS hall and a set of toilets. Upstairs are the remaining seven halls and another set of toilets. This smaller cinema has red seats that display the letter Y. Nice. Getting technical, the projection room features a combination of some of the latest in digital cinema projection. The state-of-the-art CGS hall is powered by two Barco DP 4K 32B projectors running alternative line pitches calibrated and synchronized to display a large, crisp and bright image at up to 30 meters. This is supplemented by a Dolby Atmos 9.2 configuration powered by a large bank of Crown CNI 2000 amplifiers manufactured by Harman, a company belonging to Samsung. When a 3D movie is set to play, a plate is placed over the projection glass to enable the 3D effect. Other projectors in the booth include the Barco 20C and the Barco 10SL, depending on the size of the screen in a particular hall. On average, YES can expect a bulb on one of these projectors to last at least a thousand viewing hours until a shift in picture quality is noticeable. For more information on Barco and their line of projectors, check out this site. Now for some more interesting information. How are the movies delivered to the cinema? All movies are stored on the projector's built-in hard drive, loaded up via a hard drive supplied by the film distributor. Yes Cinema then downloads a key file from a specified location to activate the movie. If they want to show the movie in a few different halls, they'll need to arrange the download of multiple key files. For obvious reasons, Yes didn't advise me where they download the file from or the exact process around obtaining additional files. Interestingly, the key file has a kill date, which then renders the film file on the hard drive useless and unplayable. The average kill date for most movies is four weeks. On average, each movie takes up approximately 50 to 100 gigabytes of hard drive space. This includes both the video and audio. The good thing about these projectors is that they're able to have multiple movies stored on their hard drives and programmed to show different movies at different times of the day, providing the right key is inserted. Trailers and other advertising is fed to the projector using a network server just to the side of the projector. Fun fact, ticket sales are automatically logged with the distributor who receive real-time data on sales. At the end of a prescribed period, usually monthly, the sales are audited and the cinema chain pays the distributor their share of the ticket sales. And there's our tour of the Yes Cinema Complex in Guangzhou, China. Hopefully it reminds you of your local cinema chain. If you're ever in the area, pop in and watch a movie. They've got a great selection of both English speaking 
and English subtitled movies on offer. Thank you for watching this video. Please consider liking and subscribing to keep up to date with our latest videos, including our exclusive subtitled trailers, reviews, and our Forgotten Gems series. Very good one. Dr. Sai.